welcome to Raja Ampat. I am currently here in some islands just off the off of Waiega. And this is a beautiful place, beautiful place. This is crystal clear waters. There's a beautiful homestays with, with great food. Um, yeah, it's my experience being here. It's been a really beautiful adventure. Um, local jungle behind, which is, have got lots of uh, sort of coconuts on the trees. Um, there's not much fruit on the island though because there's so much uh, so much beach as you can see so the roots go straight to the salt water so not so much fruit grows like durian and papaya so a lot of them have to be shipped in so a lot of food has to be shipped here so the experience of being a vegan hasn't been difficult it's just been lots of rice and vegetables which has been quite cool um, yeah it's beautiful marine life lots of fish so you love snorkeling this is a great place to come but yeah this is a beautiful scenery with uh, great uh, locals who are very very friendly uh, they're very welcoming and able to to give anything that you need basically uh, there's a few things you need to be aware of if you're coming to visit uh, Raja Ampat which basically there's no power in the daytime so they use generators there are no electrical pylons and um, so the night time they have the generators going for about six six hours or so just so you can charge short devices cameras phones etc um, there are no sort of hospitals nearby so it's important to bring sort of medication with you if you need to if you suffer with headaches or you know if you have uh, injuries so bring some antibiotics with you um, also some plasters etc um, yeah, it's a beautiful area. It's worth coming to see because there's so much nature here, so much marine life, and it's uh, really worth coming to see because this is known as one of the last paradises on Earth. A lot of the homestays have been offered money by people, tourists uh, west, uh, from, from the West, I guess. We have a lot of money of, you know, want to give like a million pounds to these people to say, okay, we want to buy your land, and they refused, which is a good thing because otherwise all this will be lost and luckily this beautiful place has beautiful homestays um, and jungle <laughs> and nearby boats and none of this wants to be lost really um, the moment I'm in the water it's uh, it's just comfortable it's not cold at all as you can see it's crystal clear there are giant clams here some up to almost a meter meter wide and basically they filter the water as well as the, the you go snorkeling if you love snorkeling this is an amazing place to come to because it'll really blow you away it'll take your breath away um, downside to it if you're not much into weather I am I love thunderstorms and lightning so every sort of you know couple of times a week there are some beautiful uh, spots to see the lightning and thunderstorms which isn't horrible at all it's actually a really beautiful thing to experience um, the sunsets are beautiful it makes the sky completely red go snorkeling at night time see the see the plankton illum illuminating the water it's almost like magic washing about um, so yeah I've been here for about uh, I think two weeks so far I've been traveling Indonesia and uh, this was a place that uh, we wanted to come and see so was we're in Indonesia it was a short sort of very short trip from um, sort of Lombok airport to Makassar which is a very busy place a very um, a lot more things going on that way and then you go to Sorong which is more of basic sort of villages and now we've come here to Raja Ampat so again there's very much basics you won't find TVs you won't find usual shops great food and it's a good place to come and relax and to enjoy nature and the beauties here there's lots of boats nearby so people get um, <laughs> Uh, people travel with boats, which is beautiful. Um, so there's one here at the moment with a hut on, on top of it. Um, for phone signal, there are some 4G spots, but mainly a lot around the island is usually like a 4 or 5 bar signal. So you do have a little bit of signal if you're worried about contacting friends and family abroad um, to, to home. But yeah, this is a beautiful spot, beautiful scenery, worth coming to view. And I'm glad I'm here because uh, there's been some really nice, beautiful areas to, to come see. Um, so yeah, just things to be aware of. There are no power in the daytime, as I said. So bring some power banks with you to charge up throughout the night. As um, soon as it hits dark, usually they put the generator on to maybe to have some power and charge some devices. So um, 
you're not limited but it's the basics and really that's all you need if you love snorkeling if you love nature then come and experience this because this is really very beautiful um, it's, uh, it's the last paradise on earth so don't expect you know big hotels and uh, warm water there is basically the basics it's uh, almost going back in time to how things used to be um, there are little bits of technology here and there but uh, mostly it's a paradise on earth so enjoy your trip if you wanted to come and visit and uh, speak to you soon goodbye